Here we have the hard drive I introduced you to at the beginning of this PC course. On the back of the hard drive you can see the connectors. Let's get familiar with what they are. This sticker shows jumper settings. It is a diagram that allows you to configure your hard drive and set your drive's ID. Depending on how many drives you have in your system, you may need to refer to this diagram to set your jumpers. These are the jumpers. These can be plugged in in different arrangements according to the diagram we just talked about. It is hard to see such tiny detail in the video, but when you have your drive in front of you, this will all make much more sense. For our project, you need to set your hard drive to master. If you are installing just a single hard drive with no second hard drive, CD-ROM or DVD-ROM drive, you should leave the drive ID jumper on the single setting. This is usually the way it comes set from the factory. The hard drive goes in one of these drive bays. Now I'll position the drive with the connector facing toward me so that the bottom side is facing down when we stand the case back up. The hard drive is usually secured with four screws and sometimes with two depending on the case. There are some computer cases that provide cages or mounting rails to install the various devices. Consult your case manual for more detail if mounting rails are required. With our case, the drive slides right in. Now let's line up the holes and finish mounting the drive. This is the floppy drive. This is the front where you insert your floppy disks and this is the back side. This is the bay for the floppy drive but the installation will be done from the front side of the computer case. I'll slide the drive in from this side so you can see where the bay for the floppy drive is. You will not install it this way. Now, after we determine the right bay for the floppy drive, we can pop out the front faceplate. This is the front of the computer case and this is the plastic panel for the floppy drive. I'll pop it out by pushing the plastic panel from the back. Now I can slide the floppy drive into the bay from the front of the computer case. Now turn the case to the side again, like we had it before. Here are the screw positions for the floppy drive to secure the drive to the bay. Now we can screw in the floppy drive. 